What is up, guys? This is Roz, and welcome to another video where today we are showcasing a Pokemon I had never heard of before that goes by the name Reuniclus. And I know there's probably like 75 of you that's just like, Rise, it's pronounced this way, not that way. I looked up the official Pokemon pronunciation, and it says Reuniclus. There are people that get upset and say it's pronounced a different way. I don't know. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. And we've got Zwilus Tentacruel with Shadow Reuniclus, a new shadow, the evolution of Solosis. And Air Surfer 9 has sent us in these pretty spicy battles. However, there's a caveat. Air Surfer failed to, like many of you have been doing recently, I feel like a teacher scolding his students, you have failed to put in information in these battle submissions with the movesets and the IVs. Air Surfer put in the IVs, didn't put in the movesets, just like Rise, figure it out. Shadow Reuniclus runs runs hidden power. Shadow Reuniclus runs hidden power, which could be like any typing. Could be any typing. And we don't know what hidden power it is. Now, at first, I sent Air Surfer an email like, bro, bro slice. Send me what hidden power it is. And then he hopped into my stream chat and we had an idea. And I was like, you know what? Wait a sec. What if we made it a thing and we played into it? And we don't know what the hidden power is. And we try and figure it out in the video. That's what we're going to do. The difficult thing about this is hidden power is kind of glitched and always has been with the type effectiveness. So sometimes it'll say like super effective or not very effective when it's not actually the case. Or maybe it'll fail to say it's uh, super effective when uh, it actually is. Also, I'm just noticing I think these are in uh, real time. So... My, my bad. Let's put these at 1.5 times speed as Air Surfer dances in super speed. And we get into the battles. First battle, Cairo Rob. Maybe he's a chiropractor. That's kind of cool. Any chiropractors watch my videos? I know one that's studying to become a chiropractor. Shout out BDR. And right away, we see Rio Nicholas running its hidden power as a counter swap against this Toxapex. I can't tell. I cannot. I don't think that's super effective damage. It doesn't seem like it's super effective. It doesn't seem like it's doing that much, to be honest. So, probably not psychic. The PvP, the PvP poke recommended hidden power is psychic type because, probably just because you get that same type of attack bonus. Um, as Rio Nicholas is a pure. Psychic type. Also, when I was saying Reuniclus, as the gunk shot connects on Tentacruel, there was one person in my chat that responded with like 17 crying laughing emojis. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you say it like that. And not only did they do that, but they like never said how it should be pronounced. They just kept laughing at me. Like, bro, I feel like I'm back in middle school. I feel like I'm back in middle school. Where people will like laugh at someone and not explain to them why they're laughing at them. Oh my gosh. Crazy days. Crazy age we live in as Zwilus tries to fend off this opposition. Has a lot of work to do. Claude Sire, as we know, very bulky Pokemon. Zwilus has its work cut out for him. Shields the Stone Edge. Gonna go for a Body Slam. Now Body Slam is not gonna be enough to knock out, but maybe is hoping that he picks up a Protect Shield. Does not. The Clod gets to another move. Shield farm down. Oh, but wait a sec. We know it's a Jelly, right? And Jelly will get walled by the Zwilus. So this game is far from over. Zwilus. Oh, they go for the catch. I mean, that was probably the play. But now you just go straight Dark Pulse. And Dark Pulse, when it connects, is going to do so much. Zwilus not quite going to faint to a Shadow Ball. If you're the Jelly, yeah. Wow. I guess they played to their win con of, like, unnecessary body slam bait. So, Ryu Nicholas did next to nothing in that first battle. Zwilus kind of carried the team. So, this may be, like, a Zwilus feature disguised as a Guess the Hidden Power video. Lantern staying in. They eventually swap into Mandy. And uh, Manda Buzz, not a very good matchup against Zwilus, but can hold its own, of course, since it's so bulky and the aerial aces kind of spam away. Decides to come in with Tentacruel here. And the opponent's aerial acing for some reason. Don't think you normally want to do that in neutral matchups. I think Dark Pulse is just a lot more efficient. Or Foul Play if they're running that. There's the Dark Pulse. 
To be fair, looks like maybe double Dark Pulse plus Aerial Ice is necessary to knock out the Tentacruel. Scald connects, doesn't quite do enough. I wasn't counting. Is this another Dark Pulse or is this just Aerial Ace? Beautiful counting by Air Surfer. In comes Galade. Galade gets a double Psycho Cut down, which isn't ideal. Here comes Ryu Needless. These hidden powers doing a lot. I, st I still can't tell. Oh, gets a sneak. Yikes. Doesn't look super effective to me. Looks neutral here. Because, oh, what a catch. On his wireless. But Leaf Blade's still going to hurt a little bit. Goes for the body slam. Try and pick up that protect shield or knock out the Gallade, potentially. Picks up the shield. Opponent still has one more shield to hide behind. Going to shield up Zwilus here. Opponent needs to swap out, but they're going to give the farm down. Excuse me. And here comes Lantern. Going for the Dark Pulse. A little bit scary because you might get sparked down here if you can't swap out. Yeah, it might get sparked down. It's a little bit concerning. But just needs to get to one move here. Just needs to get to one charge move. You see reaching for that Shadow Ball. Surf grabs the final shield. Can Reuniclus get there? It does. And this Shadow Ball will dish out some devastating damage. And should be able to get the knockout quite easily. Good game there. I still don't know. And what we're going to try and do is have you guys during this video that you're watching can guess what the hidden power typing is. And Air Surfer will come into the comments. Maybe give it like a few hours, Air Surfer, if you watch this video quickly. And then uh, comment what the what the actual hidden power typing is. Nice catch, by the way, onto the Tentacruel, catching that Ice Beam from Feraligator. But now you're met by a Shadow Whiskash. This is not great, but <clears throat> landing the Scald is big. Going to make this Whiskash much easier to clean up. Mud Bomb connects, knocks out Tentacruel. Does Wildless come in for the Dragon Breath down here? Yes, it does. Going to either have to shield a Mud Bomb or tank a Mud Bomb. Going to elect to shield it, preserve some health. On Zwilus, they go for the Scald, and they do get the debuff, so perhaps a smart play from the opponent. In comes Skeleturge, yikes. I like the bait here. I mean, with two shields to hide behind, you gotta think they respect. Yeah, very nice bait. Gets off a Dark Pulse here. Now you got them thinking, like, is he gonna double bait me? Okay, gets both shields. Swaps in. Bro... It says not very effective, but, like, is it actually? Do we know? Oh, gosh. One shot by Shadow Ball. Okay. I believe Dirge is dry after this disarming voice. So you're going to outpace to the Dark Pulse. Got to commit to the farm down. And pretty straightforward from here. Just throw that Dark Pulse. Knock out the Skele Dirge. And that will be a G to the G. Well played. Tough lead here. Gonna have to swap out. Go straight into Reuniclus. I think this might be super effective. Okay, in comes DD. Bro, I can't tell. That looked kind of like super effective damage to the Polyrath. Shadow Ball connects. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But if it's can't, it's not psychic, is it? What if it's flying? Oh. What if it's flying? Is that crazy? That might be where I'm leaning right now. Because I think that looks potentially super effective against Polly, but maybe not. Maybe I'm tripping. Icy Wind knocks out Reuniclus after it Shadow Balled the Deoxys. Now you've got Squidward in here. Going for a massive Poison Jab down. I don't know if you can jab this whole thing down before eating a couple of moves. Yeah, with the Skull debuff. Going to be forced to throw some energy here, but I think that's smart. Get rid of this Polyrath. Oh, they're shielding. Wow, so they might be afraid of this Tentacruel with their back Pokemon. Gonna let this go. And you gotta think, two counter users? Unless it's triple counter. Oh my gosh, the parting acid spray right before going down. This is massive. This is massive. Now your Dragon Breasts are gonna chunk so much more. Oh my gosh. What an end game. Getting off that blind acid spray was so big and changed the outcome of the game. GG. 
Zylus versus a shiny Swamper. Shiny best buddy Swamper. This trainer really uh, bonds with their Pokemon. Bud best buddying their Great League Pokemon. Very cool. Let me know how many best buddy Pokemon you have in the comments. I've got a handful at this point. But mostly just like Hundos and Master League Pokemon. Or things that you have to like XL close to level 50. Swampert going to build up to the Earthquake and does go for it. So a great shield from Air Surfer. I think you get the full farm. This is just a Hydro Cannon, so not the end of the world. Swampert gets off the Hydro Cannon. I like the pivot here. And you get off the Scald first. That's really nice because if you get the debuff here, now a Brave Bird won't knock you out. Or at least like... Ooh, doesn't get a debuff. Still should live a Brave Bird, but not very comfortably. Ow. Puts you in the red. In comes Gligar. Yeah, opponent is smart. Throws right away. Will this be a telltale sign of what the hidden power is? Will this be a sign of what the hidden power is? Hmm. Oh, man, that's doing nothing. It does seem like it's not very effective. I, I don't know, bro. Now my flying guess is probably wrong. This is so difficult, dude. This is so difficult. What the heck is this hidden power? Shadow Ball. <laughs> but see, like, Shadow Ball is not, not very effective. Unless somehow Zwilus can get to, like, double Dark Pulse. Well, actually, wait. Skarmory ate a Scald, right? So Dark Pulse is going to put this really low. And now it's going to come down to a Dragon Breath versus Steel Wing. Fast move off. Who's going to get it? Zwilus with 1 HP and a Dream gets the win. Wow, what a battle. Tough lead here. Say swap the Reuniclus. Confuse them. <laughs> that looks super effective. That looks super effective for sure. Uh, that, that has to be super effective. Oh, electric. Electric. It might be electric. There's probably at least one person watching this video like, Rise, based off that yellow animation, you know it's like, dude, no, stop. Okay, let's calm down. All hidden power animations look the same as far as I'm aware. I think it might be electric hidden power. Oh, wow. That's what I'm leaning towards right now. If I had to bet money right now, I'm going electric. We're going to see Zwilus in a very dominant matchup here against Lantern. And uh, now we see Squidward against Azu. Opponent staying in. They might have been locked for a moment. And now you got a Clodsire. Not great. Not great for Tentacruel as Clodsire usually runs Earthquake. But Scald, as you see, is going to basically two-shot this Clodsire. And I think you just respect it. Oh, wow. They went for it, too. So great shield. Also, the switch clocks are desynced a little bit. So we might see this matchup play out through a few charge moves, a few shields. Oh, they call it like a savage. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That is crazy. That is some craziness. Maybe save the energy. Oh, okay. I was going to say save the energy, go into Zwilus. Because now the opponent's switch clock is probably up as well. Oh, Okay, well, at least you're going to get off double body slam here. I think you want to throw this immediately, though, because Azu has a move, I'm pretty sure. Yes, nice call. Azu might barely live. I think if you're the opponent, you have to gamble that you live. Okay, opponent got scared. I think if you're the opponent, if you had just not shielded, you might have still gotten off this play rough, and then you still have a shield for Clod Sire, and then you maybe win Earthquake... Although, probably doesn't quite knock out from here. It'd be close. And Tentacruel delivers the final blow. Gets the win. Zwilus Mir. How fun. Oh, switches. Interesting. Okay. Now I'm suspicious. Now I'm suspicious about Electric. Because, like, why would you swap out? Because your, your Solos... Or <laughs> Reuniclus doesn't want to see this. Um... Going for the Scald here. Let's see. Doesn't get the attack drop. Trying to reach that Acid Spray. Gets to the Acid Spray before going down. This is really nice. Because you might even draw a shield if the opponent wants Switch Advantage. 
No. Okay, so you flip switch. In comes the Gator. Uh, you take super effective from the Shadow Claws on Reuniclus, so. Gotta come in with Zwilus. Gator had a two Shadow Claw head start. Catches onto Reuniclus. Oh my gosh. Using it as a sacrificial swap. Ice Beam does so much still. Oh, that doesn't look super effective though. That doesn't look super effective because that wasn't even doing as much as it was doing to the Azu. Oh, man. I'm perplexed. I am perplexed. Now I'm thinking, what if it's like... Poison? Because it. I think our, our biggest clue so far is that definitely looked super effective on Azu. Does anybody disagree? Dark Pulse connects. Still has a shield for the Gator. Let's go, baby. Zwilus has been the MVP. Sorry, Reuniclus. It's just the truth. Now I'm thinking maybe poison? Because what are Azu's weaknesses? Oh, nice catch on a potential focus blast here. Grass, electric, poison. Am I missing any? Hmm. Gets off the Scald here against... Reginald Steel. Yeah, I'm confused. I think I'm leaning towards poison now. Because that did not look super effective against the Feraligator. I just got a call from a number I don't have. Scald grabs the shield. And uh, Tentacruel putting in Putting in some work against this bad matchup here. Air Surfer now. I don't know if you can get the full Dragon Breath down. Yeah, going to settle for the Body Slam here just to be safe. Zwilus going to knock out Reggie. Yikes. Oh, this could be a big clue. Oh, wait a sec. Dude, it's poison. It has to be poison. Doesn't it? That did so much to Whims. That did so much to Whims. It has to be poison. Okay, I'm I'm pretty confident now. I think we're figuring this out. And it's also not doing, like, anything to Whiskash. So this must be resisted, even though it doesn't tell us it's resisted. Putting it all on the back of Zwilus gets the... Okay. You need to land double body slam, and I think you're going to be able to do it. If this was Charm Whimsicott, it would just delete the Zwilus, but the fact that it's Fairy Wind, even though it's double super effective Fairy Wind, it's still not doing that much. Another body slam coming through. They elect to take it. And Zwilus beats Whimsicott. Confirmed. Let's go. Gets the win. And it appears like we may be on to something with the hidden power typing. Zwilus versus Lickitung. Settles for the immediate body slam. I feel like this is a pretty comfortable matchup for, Lick for um, Zwilus. So you might want to consider building up more. But this is probably fine. It looks like Lickitung is such a beast. It might actually win the zero shield here. That's kind of insane. Oh, catches on Tentacruel. Nice. We've seen a lot of catches on the Tentacruel. Body slam absorbed. In comes Gligar. Kind of rough. Is there any way... Oh, settles for the acid spray. I guess figuring you don't want to let them dig you first. Um. Okay. Okay. Gets the shield as well. So the opponent is slightly off on their counts. It's um, eight to that first Scald. So they only did seven on Tentacruel. But now you got the shield. You debuffed the Gligar. So it's going to be easier to get rid of. I wouldn't have hated to see the Dark Pulse here. Just because I don't think Body Slam is quite going to knock out. But um, let's see what they do here. Okay. Going to shield. And go for the farm down. The immediate swap. Okay. Okay. That wasn't that many counters. So it's probably Ice Punch or Power Up Punch. Ice Punch still does kind of a lot, dude. Ryu Nicholas is so bad. No shade, no shade. No nightshade. Throwing towards uh, Ryu Nicholas. But how does the Ice Punch do that much damage? Oh my gosh. Oh no, dude. Oh no. Really needs to get off a move here, but I think Medi's right about a double Ice Punch, so I don't think you're going to get there. Come on, Zwilus. Okay, Zwilus. Unfortunately, that looked like a charge attack priority, and I don't think this is going to be enough to knock out Medi. 
So the team is not invincible, as you see. It's it is a defeatable team as the Medicham gets the better of it. I think that was a 1469 CP Medi. Great lead here into Sableye. Your backline kind of wants to avoid the Sableye as well, so hopefully they have some nice play in the back. That was not enough for a return, so I like the no shield here. Just a foul play. Going for the Body Slam Bay. I don't know how I feel about this. Seems... Yeah. Because he didn't quite have the Dark Pulse, right? So... I think you at least want to threaten the Dark Pulse by building up to it. We see like the 17th catch of the video onto the Tentacruel. Foul play connects. In comes Skarm. Not the best, not the worst. You do resist the Steel Wings. So you're going to force them to throw energy at you. And Scald can debuff them. However, Skarm Reed is kind of a core breaker for this team in general. Also, the fact that it's Dark Poison makes sense that it would be another like Pseudo Poison. I think we figured it out. Scald coming through. Will potentially put this Skarmory very low. Gets the final shield. No debuff that time. And uh, what are we going to see here? Are we going to see the final shield? No, we're going to let it go. Going to probably come in with Zwilus to try and get rid of this thing. Skarmory still does have a shield to hide behind. Going for the body slam. Once again, I don't think this is enough, but hopefully... The Dragon Breaths can knock out before they get to Sky Attack. Okay, they shield. That's good. Yeah, these are doing nothing. It has to be poison. I am convinced. Air Surfer is going to come in and say something else. I'm not going to believe him. I'm going to say he's trolling us. We go for the Shadow Ball here. Reuniqueless. Such a weird looking Pokemon. Boom! Big damage. Okay. You almost want the Hydro to knock out here. So you can get more farm. Okay, it does knock out. That's perfect. Now you get the farm down. Skarm is so low. Skarm is so low. Goes for the body slam here. What was left? What was left? It was the Sableye, right? The Sableye? Oh, baby, what a win. This was very much more a Zwilus showcase, I think, if anything. Zwilus going crazy, but Shadow Reuniqueless with the hidden power let me know in the comments if you agree with me that it's the poison type hidden power and uh, air surfer hopefully can reveal at some point after this video goes live if you guys enjoyed this type of video feel free to hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel if you are new around here comment down below all comments are appreciated they help out the youtube algorithm and all that said thanks so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one peace